Hello and welcome to the Dark Hour. This is Chapter 13, Cold Heart. It's starting to get even colder. Everyone doing all right? We won't be if we don't find a way out of the snowstorm. I believe the reason for this unnatural snowfall is due to an ally of the enemy. If we can stop their magic effects, then maybe the snow will fade. Regardless, we need to hurry. Come on. Okay. Well, well, you've surely done some damage to my plan. Poor Kita, she was nothing more than a distraction to buy time. Fiend, who are you? Oh, that is a little rude. Talking to a girl like that is sure gonna get you a slap in the face. Or rather, a demon, to say the least. What? You're a demon? How many of there are you? Uh, how many of them are there? Probably is what, yeah. How many of you are there? I don't know. Surely you don't want to stay here and keep talking, yes? Besides, time is running out. In a bit of time, the snowstorm will devour this area in a wave of ice. So, tick, tock, you're on the clock. <laughs> Let's add a little fun to this. Hee hee hee. Uh oh. Uh, what are we dealing with here? I have to defeat the boss. Um. Zully. Okay. Um, don't know who I should be bringing for this, but for now, let's look at what we're dealing with. Uh, it looks like that map in FE9, you normally go through from here and make your way through, but we're starting on this side instead. It looks like there's a lot of enemies to carve our way through, including enemies, like, outside of the, uh, the walls, which, like, how did they get here? <laughs> I guess maybe they had flyers helping them out, who knows. Uh, yeah, so I guess I should choose who I'm bringing with me. I don't think Andrew's gonna be uh, someone I should be training for this map, but I'll figure it out and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and the first thing I'm going to do before I jump into this is um, promote Brigette. My first inclination would be to promote to Great Knight, but he loses his skill that gives plus four defense to his nearby units. So we're gonna make him a general instead. General Brigette. Great. He can now use axes, although I don't think he can use the killer axe I put in his inventory. Uh, actually he can. Cool. Alright, so that's good. That means we don't have to adjust that. Uh, I do want to give him a killing edge, though. So, yeah, and I, do we have a killer lance? I don't think we do. Yeah, we don't. Okay, I'll just give him the uh, steel lance then. It's fine. And um, that's it. We're done. We're going to jump into this. I've actually done this chapter once already. I didn't complete it, though. I got a few turns in and then lost Ivan. Whether outside was caused by that lady in the cloak, I don't know how she was able to do such a thing. But if you don't hurry, you'll freeze out there. Here, my mama gave me this before she left. She says if you feel threatened by magic users, they can help keep you safe. Got a pure water. Uh, we're gonna send that back for now. You have 25 turns to defeat the boss, who's all the way over here. Um, she's a summoner. So, she's carrying Master's Heal, but uh, there isn't really a pressing need for that. I feel like there's not a whole lot of unpromoted units that are worth promoting in this hack. Um, the pre-promotes that you get later on, around the time you would want to promote other units, are kind of um, better. I don't know. Anyway, I brought Braden around along because although his defense or resistance isn't very high, he's still offensively pretty good with that heavy strikes plus purge, which might come in handy in a clutch situation. Although, who knows for sure. I'm gonna move Yon up. If I keep her out of range. Just a little bit up. Like, up to here. And then we watch everybody... Well, not everyone, but... a big chunk of these enemies just charge towards our group. To slow us down. Keep us from completing this within 25 turns. That appears to be their main goal. 
And the guys in the walls, we're, we'll try to kill them if we can, but um, mostly we're going to try to ignore them as much as possible until they expose themselves. And these guys appear. Malforms. Monsters that take form of other things based on their weapon. Equip anything. So they have weapon ranks, A and all, th all things. And uh, they just fly around. They're pretty weak looking though. Like, they have no bulk. They have no defense or resistance. They have 5 HP. They're still relatively strong. I mean, the Avatar can take them on pretty easily. But we're not going to because that would be a waste of time. They don't move very far. We're just going to go and catch up with the group now they got the pure water. And uh, so let's see if I Ivan or Jenny can take these guys out. They can, so we'll just get rid of them here. So they're not a bother later. And then have Jenny just work on this guy so we can finish him off with anybody, really. Um, this works. Oh my god, really? At least Brigitte doubled. Oh boy. Anyway, um... A little bit wary of this, since Barden's kind of on the flimsy side of things. But I'm gonna heal up Jenny. And heal up ya uh, Ivan, rather. And I'm gonna dance Jan out of the way of this archer. Let Ivan get shot a bit, it's fine. HP and magic for Amelia. Let's put uh, Yaw next to Brigette if we can. We can. Heal him up too. That's it for this turn, let's see what the enemy does. So I'm trying to figure out how often I should be using save states for this hack. Um... I'll probably use it on occasion to prevent constant restarts and save myself some time. If I'm going to be trying the same thing over and over again, like I did in Chapter 12 with the uh, Siege Tome users, then I'll probably just, like, make a save state before I try anything, just to, like, see if I need to, um, shake the RNG a little bit. I, I really hope I don't have to, but... Oh, you're one short. Okay. Well, we're gonna move on. Well, let's move Cyrus first, and then Ivan. Um... Okay, you have a spear equipped right now, so let's just... hit you with a hammer. Or hammer. There we go. Got a rune sword out of that. We'll just put that away, since you can't use it. And then have Cyrus. Uh, well, you're just one short, right? So, um. Well. Now it's kind of hopeless. Um, let's just put Brigitte here. And Killer Axe you. Okay. Well, I'm gonna finish you off with Barden after all, then, I guess. get Barton much needed experience since he's uh, not great, but may have utility later if he gets some good level ups, uh, which that was okay, I guess. Just kill this guy. It's important that we move forward and just destroy all the enemies in our way. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's move Ivan. Have Jan heal him up. Gonna have, um... Be a dance for Ivan this time. And get him closer to the treasure, so he can start stealing stuff. Since he does have lock touch after all. And get the avatar to catch up here. Um, put you here instead, so you don't get shot. Okay, that's pretty good, considering that uh, Knight has a 
sword, I think. Okay, strength luck and resistance is always good. Definitely need a lot of defense and resistance for this map, so the more you get, the better. Alright, good job. Um, yeah, there's a lot of enemies that move on this map, and it takes a while to wrap up all the movements. Okay, yeah. Well, at least you don't use a status staff on us, I guess, and this guy is gonna... Apparently try to put uh, Brigitte to sleep. It doesn't work. Oh boy, more of those things. Oh, well, so far they're pretty slow, so no biggie. Let's move Arden up. And uh, do this. Easy, easy. Well, God, barricade, I always forget it. So, such a meme at this point, but whatever. Just kill you, Brigitte. Steel blade. Send that back. Um, let's see. We can make sure that Bardan is healed, at least. And then grab this with Ivan. Got an armor slayer. We'll put that back. Uh. I think probably best to just start moving forward here. Um, you guys don't shoot up to that point, right? You don't even get that close. Alright, let's put you here then, Jenny, with a killer axe. Yeah, that works. And we'll just make sure that uh, she's topped off. The archer will probably go into this corner and shoot Ivan. So if we don't put anyone else in the archer's range, that's great, because we can just kill them before we uh, go around to the other side. Um, yeah, this is fine. Let's dance for Barden so we can make him go closer. Like so. Um, any good juicy purge targets right now? Not really. I prefer to just get a guaranteed kill rather than try that, so we'll just wait for that. And keep moving you. It's kind of ironic that I gave the Avatar all those boots and now his range is cut in half. Well, more or less. He has 14 move right now and he can move like 9 tiles, so... Oh, I think it changes depending on whether you're inside the 4 or, four or not. I'm not really sure. I guess I should count next time I am moving him. Yeah, the problem with Ivan is that he takes a lot of damage, but that's kind of what old warriors do. They don't really have a lot of defense or resistance, they just have a lot of HP. Um, are you going to succeed this time? No, you're not. Oh, too bad. Okay, good. Alright, these guys are actually going to move quickly. <laughs> oh boy. They don't seem to have their move cut at all. It's only flyers, apparently. Interesting. Well... Uh, we can probably take this guy out now. Nope, not with you. This works better. That's one more archer that won't be bothering us now as we move through this map. Alright. Let's grab this. And, um... We'll put this back for now. And when we run out, we can just grab it with the avatar later. Let's go over here. Equip a spear and rally. I guess everyone's in more speed. So that's useful. Well, well, maybe for the other two it's more useful, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna have Jenny deal with both of these. Steel Ants, Javelin, Steel Ants. Put you here, the Hand Axe, that should do. 
Oops. Go stay here. Um, now you double these guys. That's interesting. Don't want to use two prayers on that though. Let's wait for now. Make sure that Ivan's healed up. And then send him forward with Melia's health. That way we can actually use his combat utility, such as it is. And also get him closer to the last chest in this map. Which is all the way on the left. Like it was like it was in the FE9 map. Uh alright, well Jenny doesn't doesn't kill, but it's a fresh kill for someone else at least. And these calves are gonna fill the little holes left in by the little uh, mouth worms, willow wisps, I guess, willow the wisp type enemies. That's what they remind me of anyway. Just watching them go slowly. Okay, well, that was to be expected. But it's still a kill for somebody. And you missed. Good job. Alright. Now, what are we dealing with here? A Killer Lance, a Zambato, a Steel Axe, a Hand Axe. Huh. Well, I do want to have Jenny, like, go forward here, but I don't think it's that viable. Let's have her get... go instead. Well, how much damage is he going to take from these guys? 20... 22... just 2. Any hammers? Oh, I see Zambatos. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Yeah. Okay, so let's put Brigette here. Uh, do we need a Javelin? I guess this guy with the Hand Axe might attack, but not yet. So let's just go here with the regular old whatever we have. Um, that works. And then we don't really need to heal anybody, so let's just have Yon get a kill here. Oh, she can't do it anyway. Um, let's avoid getting shot by these two guys. You know what? Yeah, it's hard. I can actually clean up here. Alternatively, we can just rally people. Uh, you know what? Mm. Let's move Jenny up. Now, this won't do much, but it's a start. And Saul's triggering, which is nice. Let's have Cyrus go up do this, because he can move max distance and clear an enemy out at the same time. That's pretty solid. And then... I don't want to let Barton get shot by both of these, but one is okay. So, let's put Barton here. And just checking to see what's available here. Uh, not really... Well, we can just kill this guy. You know what? Goodbye. No longer a problem. HP and defense. Alright. Oops, I keep doing that because... Product Ember has range in the menu. I'm just looking for the global range here. Um, we can just move up generally, but keep the Avatar out of this range. That's fine. Make sure that uh, Barden's healed up. Get Melia closer, although she won't be able to dance. Um, what do you have now? Two sleeps, three silences, and a physic. Let's try it. 71 is not that bad. No. Oh well. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just had to 
get something, get the door. It was a package, um, and it, had, it came in the middle of my Let's Play, even though it was scheduled to come tomorrow, so that's, that's neat. Anyway, it's good that it's here now, I guess. Uh, okay, well, you still have silence, unfortunately, and the other guy didn't get silence, so that, that was kind of a, a wash, but at least no one's dead, right? No one died while I was gone. Everyone's still here. Wonderful. Let's um, go after these guys now. I kind of wish the avatar was a little stronger. You know what? Hang on. We can just give you a better weapon. This works. Well, you got hit, so that means you have seal speed effect effected on you now. That's unfortunate. Ah, oh, well, that was a 38% chance to happen. I guess we could have attacked you from two range. Just get rid of you. Okay, HP, speed, and luck. That's something. Don't want to do that, because that will just... Um... Not kill. Let's just do this instead. And then find a way to kill this archer. Okay, that works for me. HP, magic, defense, and resistance. Alright, let's have Bar Burgett and go up here. And I'm going to equip the Killing Edge. And have, um... Well... Definitely want to heal up Ivan. And also move up Bardan. Any Purge, delicious targets for Purge? Uh, no, not particularly, not yet at least. We'll just wait there for now. And instead of dancing for somebody, I'm just going to heal Yon. She could use it. Alright. If the Paladin gets closer, we'll just backtrack a bit and kill him, but for now we're fine, I think. Let's press on. Now, this guy has uh, an Iron Ballista in his inventory. He's the guy that shot Yan, I, I would guess, while I was gone. Um, we just have to be... Probably should put someone in range of him and run it out before we get there, so I'm going to put Barden back here. Let's let him get shot repeatedly. Sounds sounds bad, but you know what? Maybe Ivan will do it instead. Or uh, not a whole lot of people we can spare for that. Honestly, what if we move forward and pull that ballista somehow? Um, we could do that with Jenny, I guess, by sliding her around here, letting her go to town on these guys, but she'll get hit eventually and die. Uh, we can also do that with Brigitte, as long as we kill the mercenary in front of him, I think. We gotta kill these two mercenaries, actually. Hmm, that's doable. Let's put you here. Well, that's not really reliable. How about Bardan? Goodbye. And then... The Avatar can kill this mercenary. Great, good job. More levels for the Avatar, because why not? Then Burgett's gonna stand in range of the Ballista and start hitting these guys with a Killing Edge. Which, um... He takes quite a bit of damage back, unfortunately, but... 
What can you do? Cyrus can delete one of these guys. Um, Ivan can theoretically move up and kill one of these guys. And then Jenny can probably... I'm just gonna rally with Jenny, actually. Go here. Um, with a killer axe and rally. That works. Mm. Let's put you here and just top Cyrus off. And then we'll just dance for her. And keep her out of range, but move her. No, we don't really need to move her at all, actually. Let's end turn. What the heck is this? Hand axe, steel axe, iron blade. You drop a barrier. Okay, I mean... They're gonna start moving towards us, I assume. Slow us down even more. Okay, well, at least we're making good progress. That's something, at least. Um, we can definitely take out one of the fighters without getting, getting range of the Ballista here. We'll just do that, like so. Cool. Gotta say, Cyrus is probably one of the best units in the game. <laughs> Let's just mend up Brigitte. Just because super useful, um, really good stats. Oh boy. Well, at least he got a rank in stat saves. That's something at least. Let's have Brigitte try to kill this guy. Oh boy. What if you did this? And how much damage do you do with the Iron Ballista now? 26. Your defense is effectively um, 26 standing next to Brigitte. You'll take effective damage, but not much. So let's just do this. And then have Jenny smash this dude. From here, though. Just so we can move further along this fort thing. Um. Yeah, a little too risky to move forward now, but when the calves come, we'll be able to kind of close in on them a bit. Let's just group, regroup here, I guess. Any purge targets that are nice and soft? Nope, not yet. Let's just dance for him for experience points for the dancer. And uh, she's almost level 20, which is cool. Don't know if she promotes. Assuming so that she doesn't, but I never really checked. We put... We can keep baiting... This guy that shoots the Avatar for 26 damage. As long as we keep him next to Brigitte at all times. So if we... Um, now the thing is, the Paladin's right behind us. That's kind of a problem. So we might just backtrack and deal with that. What do you have? Iron Sword, Steel Lance... Steel Lance, Iron Blade Javelin, Steel Lance Javelin. Okay, well... If we were to... Heal... Um... Let's see... Move Barden back to here. Move Yon over here. Heal up Avatar Boy. Put you here with a steel lance equipped for now. 
and that iron sword. Well, if we just put you here with a Zambato and rally up, that should be that should be okay. Now, forget theoretically. Can move closer and take this guy on too, at the same time. So I might just do that. Let's put him right in range of the Cavalier with the Steel Lance equipped. And just. We'll just top off the Avatar. Dance Rion. Top off Milia. And we'll keep Ivan here because he might need to help out with the Cavaliers as they come closer. Brigitte will be fine as own, on his own for a turn or two. Okay, no Saul, unfortunately. Okay, well, that worked out fine. Okay, down to 21 for Brigitte. I am Zully, Master of Magic, and you are nothing but vermin beneath my heels. Ouch. Well, at least, at least she acts last. So that's nice. Uh, well, better than healing the Paladin. Okay, everyone's gonna heal the Cavalier. Cool. Any more things going on here? Okay, great. So, definitely need to move Forget back now. Let's do that. And just... Uh, I think I'm just gonna try to purge this Cavalier. Oh, can't kill him. Actually, never mind. Can't kill anybody. Well, that's too bad. I'll just stick with the Lightning then. And have Yon Men's Brigette. That will have to do. can kill the Paladin, or almost kill the Cavalier with Ivan. Let's go for... Well, how does Jedi do? Um... Hmm. Yeah, not really great. Let's try this. Okay, that's one down. You have a Lance, so if we dance for Ivan, we can use his Halberd to take that one down. But if we do that, then this Priest will still be alive. Well, we can attack from the other side. We well, can put Ivan here. Halberd you to death. Goodbye. Great. Use Jenny here. Oh, come on. Okay, well. Steel Lance, Iron Blade, Steel Lance. So... I was hard to just put there and do his thing. Heal up Jenny. And with any luck, we'll be able to um, move ahead next turn. Let's go. Alright, that's um, fair play by the Cavalier there. Oh boy. No defense or resistance yet. I think he got one out of three levels, which is probably close to his growth rates. I would still prefer it to be defense blessed ridiculously like my avatar is. S rank and lances, lovely. That iron blister should be 
either out or one shot away from being out. Um, probably almost out. Okay, um, that was a little too much damage for Ivan to take just now, but it seems okay. Putting, trying to put Brigitte to sleep is a bold move, but it didn't work out. Oh, more of these things, and this time they're in front of us. Cursed Blade. Silence and Fortify, really? Uh, well, at least the range isn't that high. Well, kind of is, actually. Oh, boy. Yeah, silence is 310. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's just... How much... Let's just have a Physic now. Same with you. Yeah, that big of a deal, honestly. And this guy... We're done with your Ballista, wonderful. Let's see. 11 with a decent chance of doing 33. Wouldn't be a kill. But you're on a fort, so you'll eventually heal up. Plus you have... Um... Right, so you have seal resistance. So, so Burgess resistance is down now. Oh boy. I think we put a high res enemy here, or we try to silence Camellia. Let's see if we can do that. I highly doubt it. 67, actually, that's not that bad. Let's try it. Okay. The fort shouldn't heal status effects, so she should be silenced for five turns. That's cool. We can do this now. Strength, magic, skill, and defense. Nice. Ivan can finish this guy off. Goodbye. You can just make sure that he's healed up. For the next fight. Jan can make sure that Forget's healed, so we can move him forward. Although we don't can't really move him in range of anything, that's fine though. We'll just put him here. And then move Barden up. Any juicy purge targets? I guess we can take out the guy with silence. Take his fortify staff from him. You know what? Let's try it. Oops. That's a problem solved. Alright. And you learn something. And you gotta fortify, somehow. Giant magnets. What did you learn? Oh, Aegis. Okay. Cool. Let's put you, Mr. Avatar Man, over here. Should we use the guy with the sleep staff? Uh, you. But you don't drop anything. But we could get rid of you regardless. Which I might just do, so we don't have anyone fall asleep in the middle of the battle. We do have a restore staff, so, like, it's not awful, but... I think I'd prefer to just secure our position here. Oh. No. Okay, your curse blade uh, 
It backfired on us, okay. Uh, wait, what? I, I don't know what happened there. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to, um, heal them. My position forgets to start dealing with these guys. Just out of range of this mage, I think is best. At least for now. So, forget go here. Equip Killing Edge right there. And also, um, Avatar. Well, I don't mind if the Avatar takes damage from mages because his resistance is, uh, 19. Your damage is 24. So, we're, we're okay. Let's put it next to Brigette. We'll just equip a spear and rally. Get Ivan closer. And Jenny. Cyrus as well. Um, it'd be we're to dance for Barda, and he'd move one, two, three, four, five. Eh, it's not a, no real point. And I guess we can get him a little bit closer. There's no harm in it. Um, this might be a good time to make a save state. Well, after this enemy phase, at least. Because, like, this is a long chapter, and I kind of dread restarting it. And it saved me time for recording purposes as well. And also give me a good uh, break from time to time. Alright, you got defense. You got everything but skill and resistance. That's something. Uh, hmm. This is, this is quite a crowd we've got here. But at least the Avatar is up front now, so that's nice. We can start taking these guys out. With the power of the Avatar. Okay, well that worked. Time to save. There we go. Let's just restore you. Great. Now, warrior man, you don't have a bow, so that's nice. You have a sword slayer equipped, so that actually makes you really easy to take out. As soon as we get you, get uh, the avatar path through these guys. Let's see if we can make one. Now, Milia, if we were to uh, have the Avatar here... Oh, two... Oh, come, Christ, come on. Okay, well, that's cool. Let's just have you kill this guy. And you can do this to this guy. And I guess we're just gonna chill here and hope for the best. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna dance for Cyrus, actually. Magic skill and luck, that's fine. We're gonna put Cyrus. Um, your defense is surprisingly better than Barden's and resistance, so I'm gonna put you here and hope that you can kind of isolate Barden from getting too many too, attacked too many times. Good 
job, Briquettes. You missed. Or you dodged, rather. The Brigand missed. I kind of wish she had a Javelin equipped, but that's okay. We'll deal somehow. Alright, that's a start, I guess. Alright, that should be the last of the Sleep Staff uses. No more worries from that guy. Okay, a little bit scary, but not awful, ultimately. Let's just heal you up. Or mend you up, I guess. Use, um, I haven't take one of you guys out, so let's take this guy out. If Well, now we can't kill him, actually, because you missed. And you got luck, of all things. Cool. Ah, uh, Brigitte, please just hit this guy. Great. Um. Mm, I don't know those are really ideal choices. Let's go here. And go for... This? Okay. Find an easy way, reliable way to kill this guy now. Since you have a hand axe equipped now, it's going to be a little bit hard. If we do this... It's kind of painful. And then this. There we go. Now I just get attacked by the mercenary and some other guys, and hopefully not die. Alright. Well, we got a Sword Slayer, so that's neat. I think what I'm going to do, though, is um, put you here. Try not to get hit. Great. Great. And Cyrus can probably just kill that brigand for me. All right, you don't double him. Turn it. That's not great. Well, we can just chip you then, and whoever you attack will kill you. Except for Ivan, since he has a bow out. So that's neat. Well, you got strength. You're never going to use strength, but you have a growth in it anyway. Alright, that's one down. Um, almost another. Goodbye, Brigand. Ouch. Okay, I'll be right back, I guess. Okay, so I'm back, roughly where I started. Uh, r roughly where I left off, rather. Now, this, this person has one, one silence turn left, and then she'll start to eclipse us again, so that'll be neat. Uh, until then, though, we do have to deal with these two malforms in the way with their cursed blades. Uh, the nomad that somehow ended up on the cliff. And, um... Yeah, all of that. So I guess for now, we'll start by getting rid of these guys in front of us. So we can try to take out the Malforms. Although, probably prefer the Malforms to come to us because, uh... Well, they are kind of tough. So I'm gonna just kind of put these guys here with range attacks. Yeah, 
HP, magic, skill, speed, and resistance. I like it. Le learned rally movement. Okay. Uh, select a skill you wish to forget. Hmm. Well, rally speed is really good. Darting blow is pretty solid. Supplies uh, has utility. <laughs> critical force. Uh, I like critical force. Um, if I get rid of supply, will I just not be able to send stuff back to the convoy? Let's make a new state and find out. Um, I'm gonna forget the supply. <laughs> there we go. I assume at some point we'll meet up with um, Algird and Liana, and they have supply, so that will work out. Um, let's put you on here to mend Brigette. And then dance. Mend up the avatar. Great. Cool. Um, Abrogat just get healed up to full. And we'll move Jenny and Barden strategically. Well, now we don't have a purge. Now we don't have the ability to give purge to Bard in. Because <laughs> we forgot supply. Oh boy. Well, that's okay. We can do it without purge, I think, for now. From now on. I'll just let them come. Well, maybe we'll send someone back to deal with the calves, but. First, let's deal with the guys in front of us as much as we can. Good. Those malforms give a lot of experience. Like, wonder what we could do if we just flew back and uh, armed them for a bit. Hmm, probably too late for that now, since there's only so many turns left. Well, it's an idea at some point, I guess. Let's see. These guys, you don't move. You do move, but not very far. Okay. Well, you have a recover, so. Presumably, you'll try to recover these guys if they don't die immediately. I need to kill these guys in one round, though. Which we can't quite do. Maybe with the Silver Lance, we would have been able to, but now we can't get it out of the convoy. Spear. Spear can't do it either. Hmm. Well, that was a silly play. Let's see if we can... Oh, 6% chance to hit. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you guys do have Iron Blades and a Silver Blade. If I just plop someone down here with the Avatar and fly off. Uh, someone with a, with some of the Lance, ideally, like Brigette. Although, I do kind of need Brigette. I guess I can just stand here instead. I mean, the only things that drop now are the Brave Bow, Killer Bow, uh, and the Master Seal. But you're not silenced anymore, so we gotta be careful. Well, let's actually address that issue now, if we can. Oh, well, there's a Cavalier right there. Darn it. I nearly forgot. Well, let's put you here then. What do you have, weapon-wise? Steel ants? Okay. Put you here then, with a killer axe. Um, just get you towards the chest, in case we need to finish this quickly. Seriously, right now? Oh god, okay. Well, that's, uh... Interesting. Oh, 
All right, well, got a black gem. 15,000 gold, okay, we'll send that back. And we can still send stuff back to the convoy without supply, so that's nice. You don't drop anything, so it's okay if we just do this for a bit. Although your speed is probably really high, 22, with 27 attack. Yeah, that's kind of rough. We can't just do this. Uh, Alright, we're going to plug this hole with Jenny. Um, divine you once, or miss, okay. Rescue and drop. That will work for now, I think. Until we get the avatar up. Okay, that's enough of these guys. Alright. Um... Great. Resistance is nice. Um, we have four turns to run this out now, the Eclipse, which we have enough time to do, actually. So... Uh, it's an option, I guess. It's an option. Let's put you here. Let's put you here. Rally. Now it's going to rally speed and movement at the same time now, right? Yeah, good. That's expected behavior. Dance the avatar forward. Okay. Um... I think I'm just going to use the avatar to beat these guys up from here. Just try this. And then finish you off like so, or not. Can't pick you up now, so you're just gonna die. Oh boy. Okay, problem solved. I guess. Well, it's a good level up at least. Um, we'll keep Yon on hand in case she needs to heal someone who gets hit with by Eclipse. It'll probably be Brigitte. Yep. Cool stuff. Okay, so, um... Yeah. This is fine. As long as we kill this guy with a Brave Bow, we can get his Brave Bow. Um, let's try this. Plus this. Ouch. Try that again. Or just get you out of there. I can go after this, uh... This dude. Or this dude. Let's get rid of you, actually. Goodbye. You're strong, aren't you? Yeah, 27. With the Iron Blade, at least, and then with the bow, it's the same. Yeah, okay. Let's keep you out of range, then, since Barden cannot take a hit. Um, forget over... Keep him in this person's range, let her attack him. Let's heal you up first. 
Not a very nice way to treat Forget, but... Uh, he's, he's bad in a different timeline, so it's fine. And, um, Sarah should easily be able to deal with this guy. Alright, pretty solid level up. You are the leader, yes? And if I am? Eh, it won't matter anymore once I kill you. Then my mistress will have one less problem. You missed. Notable that the boss moves before uh, the Nomad, apparently, and these guys. So, um, yeah, turn order matters a lot when you're dealing with Eclipse. I don't know if that's intentional or, or not, but I'm just going to mention it one more time. Uh, it's very possible for the boss to just Eclipse a unit, and then another unit to sweep in and kill them. And you just can't do much about it. Besides, use your very limited silence uses. Uh, we're going to turn on animations now, so that we can approach this person, who now has Eclipse equipped, so we'll be extremely vulnerable. Although, do I want to do that right now, or do I want to try to get the Brave Bow first, and the Killer Bow? Um, I kind of want to get the stuff. Although it's kind of hard to hit these guys and get their stuff. You know what, I'm gonna just shoot for the, um, the killer, the brave bow that I'm trying to take right now, and grab that. Okay, even though we don't have anyone that can use it. Yet. And just send it back. I can't dance. I wish I did it from here. Now that I think about it, it's a good idea. Uh, we can hold out for one more turn anyway, so let's just do that. Watch you fight the Avatar for a bit. Ouch. Well, that's a bit annoying. Because uh, now we have to heal you with a physic instead of a um, a heat route regular old Ben staff. That's okay. Just see how you do first before we do that. Okay, not too shabby. Uh, let's just heal, just to be extra safe. You probably don't need it, but 6% uh, chance to get hits is barely anything with um, true hit factored in, so no biggies. We'll just do this. Cool. Um, you still have one Eclipse left, so we'll just heal up Brigitte. Great. And that we don't want to be able to just end turn here. Alright, you're going to go for Brigitte. That's kind of expected. Ah, oh, you missed. It's too bad. Good use of your Eclipse, though. Have a nice day. Um, finish you off. Grab the Killer Bow for ourselves. Get a level out of it. Great. And, uh, try this. I 
do like boss music. For what that's worth. Eh, nah, let's just chill here. It's fine. Although, I guess we could farm these guys a bit. Although, it's kind of dangerous. Oh, well, I guess Brigitte can get, like, one kill, maybe. Probably not, though, since, um... I think Cyrus will kill Zelly. Yep. Unnecessary crit, but welcome. What? No, I can't die to this. Not here. Grr, I'll be back. Alright, cool. Got a master skill. So we got all the loot in this chapter, as far as I know, at least. Look, the snowfall is slowing down. Good, that is one of the many problems dealt with. Now onward to the temple. We got our movement back, wonderful. Mm, but I have to hurry, I must warn her of the threat. They are much more than they seem. I cannot allow them to get too close. Not only that, they are getting close to the temple. I must hurry. Alright, well that was the end of chapter 13. Uh, kind of a long one. Um, probably we'll skip through enemy phases or make them two times speed just because, like, well, it doesn't matter to you, because you're watching the video, but I'm kind of thinking of making the enemy phases two times speed. So I guess if you saw them go at two times speed, then you know what I did. I assume that will make the video shorter. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and have a good one.